Okay, in this video, we're gonna be talking about what size resistor should I be using for my LED? And this is really important. When you're going out and you're starting in electricity, you're buying LEDs, hopefully you're testing them out. And if you're like me, you're blowing them up all the time and you don't know why and you're trying to figure that part out. So the way I've, I did a bit of research online and what I've tended to find is for most LEDs, greens, blues, whatever color they seem to be, they have a maximum voltage recommendation of two to three volts and a current recommendation of a maximum of about 20 milliamps. So working with that, you need to understand this concept of what Ohm's law is, and that will help you understand what size resistor we're gonna to need to put into our circuit so we don't blow out our LEDs every single time. So let's take a simple circuit. This, my, my voltage supply is gonna be using, say, a nine volt battery. And then that's gonna go around here, and I know that I need to, um, there's gonna be a voltage drop on my LED of around two volts. So I wanna have a resistor that gets takes care of seven volts in my system. So the way we can figure that out is now go back, in, back into Ohm's law. If I start here, I start with seven volts. So I'm figuring out what size resistor this should, this should be. I'm gonna have a voltage drop of about seven volts. I'm gonna have a current of about 0.2 amps and multiply that by the resistance. And so if we do all our math there, that's gonna come out to 350 ohms. So that is our answer right there. In order for me to protect my LED, I need to drop my voltage at the side of my resistor by seven volts. In order for me to do that, I'm going to need a resistor the size of at least 350 ohms. In my case, I like to use a resistor that's about 470 ohms for this one here, and this one here works fine. And I'll go ahead right away now and create that circuit for you. Boom, and there we have it. We've got our circuit running right now. We start off here at our battery. We're going through to our resistor, going through to our LED and then we are finishing off back at the battery. So let's now test this voltage drop and see how accurate we really are. Okay, so I got my multimeter. Now I wanna test the voltage drop across my resistor to see if I'm getting the right amount of volts to my LED. And right now, cool, we're seeing about a six volt voltage drop here. And then across here, Seeing a voltage drop of about 2.8. So this is what's going on in my system currently. So that's that's great. It's good that it's under the three threshold and we're getting the right amount of volts to our LED. And most importantly, we're not blowing it out. Uh, any questions on this at all, guys, let me know. I hope this has been helpful and I hope this uh, helps you go out and build more circuits. See you in the next video.